Bucks Redskins coach Jack Pardee brought the Oilers into RFK the following week. His goal was to knock off the league's last unbeaten team. Washington had other ideas. One of the great things we can be doing would be, and the best one is kicking their ass. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. Turnovers, more than anything, told the story of the game. Right fumble, loose ball. Who's got it? Redskins, Redskins say they've got it. Redskins ball. The takeaway put Washington in position to break a 6-6 to -six tie early in the fourth quarter, and Ernest Biner responded with his longest scoring run of the year. High formation, and out of the eye, it's Biner again on the carry. Breaks it outside, 20, 15, cuts back to the 10, 5, touchdown, Washington Redskins on a brilliant run by Ernest Biner. But with less than two minutes remaining, the Oilers rallied to tie. Oh. Oh. Takes the snap, hands to White, he dives, for a touchdown. With the game knotted at 13, the Redskins uncharacteristically gave Houston a chance to win without the need for overtime. Ryan Mitchell at the one yard line, right at the goal line, out of the five, 10, he's at the 15, up the middle of the 20, hit at the 20. Fumble! Fumble to football, there's a wild scramble. Houston says they have it. They have it. Then divine providence intervened to keep the Redskins unbeaten. Hold is good, kick is up. It's enough there. No Mitchell. good! Wide left! <laughs> Just remember one thing, God has the Redskins in a pool. <laughs> Given this second chance, Washington seized the opportunity with an overtime interception by Daryl Green. A play that gave Chip Lowmiller the chance to put Houston away for good. Spot is the 31, a 41-yard kick from the right side hash mark. Hold is good, kick is up. There's enough to it. It's good! The Redskins win in overtime! The Redskins now sported the best record in football.